Hi, in this video, we'll be unboxing the Sony RX100 M7 compact camera, which is one of the most powerful and expensive cyber shot cameras available in the market as of now. So it comes with a gift carry case, um, which is available for free in most of the countries. Also, it comes with a free SD card. So what all you find in the box, you will first of all get the warranty card the instructions manual and uh, reference guide for example and then you will be getting uh, the adapter first of all so what is uh, there uh, for adapter so we have this unit as well as two cables which connects to the two sides or two ends of the adapter and uh, then you can just connect it uh, to your camera uh, for charging so there is another way of charging uh, your batteries which is to buy a battery charger separately and then you can charge those. So what would be most preferred if you don't want to spend additional money then you can just continue with this setup or alternatively you can get multiple batteries in case you are going far off places or to the woods where you won't be finding uh, internet connections for, uh, for long time then you can have those uh, spare batteries at your disposal also this is the memory card that you get with uh, your camera also there is this uh, sandisk micro sd card which is supported by the cyber shot so whenever you're buying a sd card just ensure that the write speed is uh, around 70 mb per second so that uh, you won't feel any slow performance issues and this is the battery that you get with the cyber shot and uh, it is good for one hour of high definition video recording so the box contains uh, the wrist strap and also the strap adapters which will be used for the shoulder straps that you can buy from sony and uh, these can be attached to the strap hooks which are on the either side of the camera and finally about the camera it is very sturdy very strongly built because i recently it dropped it uh, from a table and then it toppled multiple times but then even then it uh, worked like charm without any issues and, uh, it has the focal length of 24 mm to 200 mm which is pretty amazing uh, considering the fact that it has a one inch cmos sensor and uh, performs really great uh, during the low light situations because of its large sensor so it is a great deal for any anyone who loves to take a lot of photographs while traveling and doesn't want to carry a dslr and one of the unique features of the camera is that it supports the slow motion videos of up to 1000 fps or frame per second which is four times lower or typically gopros have 250 or 240 frame per second but this has like four times more uh, slower uh, speed that makes it extremely powerful because there will be only few uh, cameras that will have this kind of capability so this is a very unique camera that you can buy and uh, although it costs uh, dearly but then it offers you a lot of uh, great features for example it has one of the fastest autofocus um, in any of the cameras that you will find especially the compact cameras as well as it uh, it uh, can match uh, and compete with any of the major DSLRs or mirrorless cameras as well just talking about it so whenever the subject is far off and uh, you can just take the uh, slow motion so that is an amazing use case and uh, let's say if you are in a sports a stadium and then you can track those uh, players at a very high speed because all the players are moving at very high speed and that's when it's uh, autofocus and subject tracking comes into play and uh, one of the unique features of this is the color tone that it maintains and the textures uh, it it retains or produ reproduces in the photographs uh, for example the human skin tones look natural as well as the vivid colors of the flowers are captured in the photographs so these this makes the photographs or the videos very attractive 
and uh, that is something which you ex will expect from you know investing a huge amounts to a compact camera talking about its first time setup first of all the touch screen is not supported uh, in the settings section so that is a bummer and uh, you will have to use the buttons on the right side and once you have uh, discovered that then first of all you have to set up the language and then the area and then the date and time and then there will be a lot of settings that you will be customizing eventually as in when you are exploring your camera so that will be always work in progress here are some video clippings of uh, what we recorded <laughs> Here are some clippings uh, in the slow motion recorded at uh, 1000 fps. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can support this travel and exploration YouTube channel by subscribing to it and sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks so much for watching.